Now, if you have something in color, it's very easy to change its color. It just won't work that way. If we create a hue saturation adjustment layer, have a look. No matter how high we turn up the saturation, no matter how much we change the hue, that white shirt just doesn't change. Even if we check on colorize, we can, of course, you know, change the hue, saturation, and decrease the lightness to change the color of the shirt, but that just doesn't look realistic. There's another way to do it. Let me show that to you. So first of all, all you need to do, step number one, is making a selection of the white object. In this case, it is the shirt, right? So let's start making a selection by using the quick selection tool. So in the toolbar, this one is the quick selection tool. Just select that one and then just zoom in and make a selection of her shirt. You can also use the pen tool, whatever you like, whatever is your favorite, just make sure the selection is nice and good. So just make a selection. Keep in mind, we can always refine it. We're going to create a mask out of it. So just select her shirt like that. Here, a little bit of care has to be taken. Don't worry so much about accuracy. We can change this later. Yeah, that's fine. Now, have a look. Her open arms are selected. So we need to subtract that. Hold the Alt or Option. It turns into minus. And then you can just paint on them to subtract. Just like this. Just subtract all of this. You don't want any of this in the selection. Now, with the selection active, all you need to do, sometimes this might be the only layer that you might have to create. Create a solid color adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose solid color. Now, select any bright color that you want. We're going to talk about dark colors later. Let's talk about bright colors. So we're going to choose something bluish. And you can decrease the saturation by taking the picker to the left. Taking it to the right increases the saturation. Now, going down decreases the brightness. Going up increases the brightness. So I'm going to keep it totally bright. This color is fine, just hit OK, and change the blend mode from normal to multiply, just like this. Since she's already wearing white, multiply will darken the white with that color. Have a look at this. This looks absolutely fantastic. Now we need to add some dimension to it by adding some curves adjustment layer and all of that stuff. However, if we create a curves adjustment layer, let's click on the adjustment layer icon and click on curves. We will have to copy this mask to the curves as well. And if we make a change to the mask over here, we have to make a change to the mask over here as well. And depending upon the number of curves adjustment layer you create, you have to copy the mask again and again. Instead of doing that, why not create a group out of it? So select both of these layers, hold the control or command, Select the other one, make sure both of them are selected, then press Ctrl or Command G. Now keep in mind that a group can also have a mask, right? So what if instead of all those adjustment layers having a mask, we give the mask to the group? That way we don't have to deal with masks there. So simply open up the group and drag the mask of the solid color adjustment layer and drop it on the group. That way, only the group has the mask. We can just adjust the selection anytime we like. Now time for us to adjust the curves. So let's open the group, double click on the symbol of the curves, and then let's make the darks darker. It's very bright over here. Select the hand tool right there. Just click and drag it down to make it darker like that. Now it's looking realistic. And we need to make the bright areas brighter. So these are the bright areas. We're going to just click and drag it up. As easy as that. How easy was that? Now, I think the saturation is too high. So we're going to just decrease the saturation by double clicking on the symbol of the solid color adjustment layer and just take it to the left like that. Have a look. Realistic, nice and awesome. Now, of course, you need to work on the mask. Simple. Select the mask. You can take the brush, foreground color white, and then you can just simply paint these areas in like that. You can be careful or careless. I don't know, but you better be careful here. Anyway, so fill up these areas. You can take your time to do it, but I got to show you some more things as well. Now, if you choose to apply a dark color, you can do that, but you also would have to apply some highlights to it. Let's say if we double click on this one, if we apply a dark color like this, we might need some highlights. Let's apply black. Now, do keep in mind in the real world, there is nothing which is absolutely black. Maybe the black hole or something like that. But let's talk some sense here, common sense. Have a look at this. This looks black, but it's not exactly black. If it was completely black, it would absorb all the lights that's falling on it. It's reflecting light. 
Don't select absolute black right here. If you want black color, select a gray color just like this. Yes, that looks realistic. Have a look. That looks fine. This is okay. But it needs some highlights. How do we create some highlights? Hit OK first here. You're going to create one more curves adjustment layer on top of this curves. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. Now, click in the middle. Just take it up like that. Right? Now, all we need to do is to double click on the right hand side of the layer. This opens up the layer styles dialog box and take the slider of the underlying layer from left to right. This hides the dark areas of the underlying layer or the layers which are beneath it from the current layer, which is the curves layer, which is brightening it, right? So we limit the highlights. Have a look. But it's very harsh, right? Hold the Alt or Option. Click on this one to separate it. And now you can just work on how shiny you want it to be. That looks pretty decent, just like that. And then hit OK right there. Now, if you want more shine, you can also do that as well. Create a Curves Adjustment Layer one more time and take it up. Similarly, double click on the right hand side of the layer. Or you can also right click and choose Blending Options. Now do the same. Hold the Alt or Option, click on this one and then add some extra shine to it. Wow, that looks awesome. Hit OK and have a look at it. Isn't this wonderful? So let me show you the before and after. So this is the after, of course, and this is the before. Why turn black? Isn't that amazing? Now, you might have to work with masks a little bit. You might have to take the time to refine it, select the mask, take the brush, and then just paint white over here to kind of darken this area, and you get the whole point. And I took some time to refine the mask. Here is the before. Here is the after, the final result.